the important work they're doing. Good evening. Well, hi, Sandra. Nice to see you. We understand you're going to be heading about 700 miles uh, southwest of Mexico in the Pacific to um, an island and uh, an atoll that is not even inhabited. Is that right? That's right. It's called Clipperton Island. It's a possession of France, and it's about uh, seven or 800 miles south of Cabo San Lucas. And there is nobody there uh, uh, normally. There, in history, there have been people who've lived there. It has quite a colorful history. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this, what do you hope to find and how risky is this adventure? Well, um, it's uh, it's not very risky. Uh, the riskiest part is the actual landing on the island because we're going to have to get through what sometimes is rather uh, violent surf. But the, um, the project itself is not terribly risky. It's a fairly safe environment and we're going to have lots of equipment uh, in order to do the work that we are going there to do. Now tell us the goal. We're looking at uh, all these pictures um, of some of these uh, artifacts and objects that are on the island. What is the goal of your exploration here? I know that uh, using ham radios is part of this uh, this uh, adventure that you're going to be on. Tell us about that. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's, the project has two focuses. Uh, one is ham radio. The purpose of the ham radio operation is to make contact by radio with uh, ham radio operators worldwide. And so we will set up uh, 10 complete stations and uh, make contacts with as many uh, as 100,000 radio operators around the world. And that's the, uh, that's the radio aspect of the project. What's the weather like on the island and what kind of provisions do you plan to take along to help you sustain uh, you guys for those several days that you're there? Well, the weather is expected to be extremely hot. Uh, we understand it might be 110 degrees or more. Uh, it's a coral atoll. Uh, there's not much vegetation, a few palm trees. So we've taken some very strong sh uh, shelters that will withstand winds, uh, even up to 80 miles per hour, because uh, the winds do get high there on occasion. Uh, we, we have a fair amount of preparation to keep um, hydrated, keep uh, cool enough, uh, because without without proper prep uh, preparation and protection, it could be uh, a threat from the intense heat there. Well, it sounds like it's going to be quite the extravaganza. Best of luck to you, and we look forward to uh, finding out what you learn when you come back from your trip. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't quite hear the, that question. I just said thank you very much, and best of luck on your travels. Yes, thank you very much. Appreciate having the chance to talk with you. Thank uh -huh. you, Sandra. Thanks a lot.